Hello, hello. So I just got done doing another meetup. Um, this one was for hiking for like, it was like 20s and 30s hike. So like people's in their 20s and 30s. Um, so I don't know, I might have been one of the older ones there, but I mean, I'm still in my 30s. Um, and like I said, like I can pretty much hang out with people that are 10 to 15 years younger and hang out with people that are 10 to 15 years older and it doesn't really phase me. Um, but <laughs> so this is the kind of shit that I want somebody to talk to about this stuff and I want it to be somebody who's incited, excited and intrigued by it like me. Okay. So the place that we went is like so we went hiking and then we went out for brunch after but the place that we went for brunch is like you go to the bar and you can order your food and it's a place so I guess the, the place that we went is called the yard so it was nowhere near where the hike was but I actually talked to the guy who kind of like led the hike and he explained because it just was easier to accommodate a large group which actually made a lot of sense so I was like, why the hell are we going all the way up to North Phoenix when we just hiked, like, South Mountain, which is South Phoenix, and now we're going to go to North Phoenix to go get food? But it made sense um, when I talked to him about it. It was because of, like, being able to accommodate a large group and being able to accommodate a larger group with separate checks. So um, you basically can go to the bar, which is part of culinary dropout, which is a restaurant, and order your food, order your drink, take it back so you can get your drink, take it back over to the table so there's like a large outdoor seating area with like turf and picnic tent, picnic benches, picnic tables, and other tables outside, and they have stuff for cornhole, and you can take your drinks over there, and then they'll bring you your and that's called the yard. So it was a little confusing, but so I ordered a mimosa and then some food. And so I brought my mimosa over. I brought over the silverware for people um, so that they would have food. Uh, so sorry, that they would have silverware for eating their food. There was like, I don't know, like five cents, right? So I brought that over with my mimosa and then I came back over to order a water. So I ordered a water at the bar and I started talking to the guy, Paul, who was like the host of the, of the meetup event. And we were chatting. So I just like got my water. We were chatting. He got a coffee and then I was waiting for him because they collect your payment at the bar, right? And then you can either leave your tab open or close it and then bring your food or bring your drink over to the table and then bring your food over to the table. So... I was waiting because we were chatting. So I'm holding my water. I'm drinking my water. He's got his coffee. We go and we sit down at this bench, like picnic table, the bench part of a picnic table. Everybody else was already sitting. We were like one of the last two to come over. Um, and so we sit down. So he sits down, then me, and then there's three girls to my left. And then there's like an equal amount of people across from us. So we sit down, but my keys and my phone were already on the second picnic table that were there, but that picnic table had already filled up. So I grabbed my keys and my phone and brought it back over to the table. And um, so then I sit down and I have my mimosa and then I went to grab a drink of water. And I got very confused because my water was gone. Now, when I say that, there were three waters in front of me, but they were all on, they weren't, so, like, if you're sitting at a picnic table, right, you have, like, your side, and then you have the other side, right, so you have the other people's stuff. So, there were three waters in front of me, but there was one, two, three, and they were across the table from me. None of them were, like, right where I was sitting, where I would have just set down my water, Right. So, there was two waters basically right in front of me that I was like, well, maybe one of those is mine. And um, this guy who I had started talking to on the hike who works at 
hotel was like, oh no, that one's mine. And then the guy across from me, um, who's like a doctor in internal medicine was like, oh no, that one's mine. And then there was one off to the right, which would have been that last guy's. So, um, Balaj takes his water and he sets it down to the right of him. So he's not sitting directly across from me. There's a guy named Garrett sitting directly across from me. And then the guy, Balaj, who is sitting to his right, so my left. So Balaj takes his water and sits it down next to him. So now there are two waters in front of me. So I was like, well, I don't know what happened to my water. And I looked at Paul and I was like, you like you saw me drinking a water, right? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. So we know I had a water. And I was like, I don't know where it just went. So the girl comes over to bring food over. And they had set my food at that table too. My food had basically beaten to the table so um I I had my food at that table too so I just kind of stayed at that table so there are now two waters in front of me one belongs to the guy in front of me and one belongs to the guy to my right so the the whoever the the girl brings food over for people and while she's there I asked her for a water so I was like well I don't know what happened to mine but I'll just order another one so I order another water. She brings over another water. I now have my water in front of me just slightly off to the left. As I am there with my water in front of me just, just slightly off to the left, all of a sudden the guy across from me goes to grab his water. And now there are two waters in front of him. And he's like, well, wait, which one's mine? And I was like, wait a second where did that extra water just come from? So then I'm like, well, maybe Balaj moved his water. I look, his water is still to the right of him. There are now two waters sitting in front of me and, okay, so sitting in front of me across from me at this guy, Garrett, and there's still water in front of me that's mine, the second one that I ordered, and there's a water sitting across from me, the guy to my right. So now, the extra water that I know I brought a water over that literally disappeared for a brief period of time, and I know that it disappeared for a brief period of time because I was not the only one sitting there trying to figure out where my water went, and Paul knew that I had a water, and I was like, you saw me drinking my water, and I brought it over, and he was like, yeah, you did. And now all of a sudden, it was gone. Now all of a sudden, there's an extra water there. It was like my water disappeared and was then back. And I'm not the only one that saw this happen. But nobody else gets like intrigued by it and is curious about it. But I'm like, I don't know. And this guy across from me to my right was talking about Halloween costumes. And he was talking about how he went his Neo from the Matrix like on Thursday. And then, who did he go? Somebody else last night. Oh, as uh, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. So... I'm like, yeah, speaking of matrix -y stuff, I was like, apparently my water just entered, entered the Matrix. I was like, stuff like that happens to me all the time, so I'm not surprised. But like, nobody was intrigued or wanted to, like, engage in the conversation or anything. It was just like, oh, whatever. And I'm like, oh my god, how is nobody intrigued by this? Like, my water was not here. I brought over a water, my water disappeared, and now my water is back. How is nobody else fascinated by what the hell just happened? And nobody else seemed to care. And I was like, oh, this is the kind of shit that I want somebody to talk to about. Because it was pretty fucking cool. Because it was literally like, so I'm reading a wrinkle, a wrinkle in Time, right? Which seems very fitting right now with the whole space travel thing, time travel thing. So maybe that's like I'm supposed to read the book to help, I don't know, gain some knowledge, some answers, some something until my person comes along that I'm going to get to chat to about this stuff. But it was literally like my water entered the matrix and disappeared and then reappeared. It was crazy. And there were totally other people there that, that this, like, it happened. Like, it's not like it was just me. It's not like I'm going crazy. It's not like I made shit up. Like, I 
brought it over, and then it wasn't there, and then it was there. It was, it was, it was, yeah. Which is fun when stuff like this happens, but I'm like, I want somebody who also has this stuff happen, can relate, and who gets excited, and who wants to talk about it. So anyways, I might as well post this video and share my weirdness. Um, there's lots of discussion about vaccines. about people and how I hope that practitioners that are getting fired from their jobs for not getting the vaccine, I hope they start their own facilities and, you know, that they can run the way that they want. And the guy across from me was like, wait, he's like, so you want them to start a facility where they're not vaccinated? And I was like... I think that if that's their belief, they should go start their own facility and run it the way that they want. And yeah, start doing cash pay and stop accepting insurance and stop just giving away billions of dollars to these CEOs who are not doing shit, who are not, who are keeping people from getting medical coverage that they need or want, I should say, <clears throat> just because I, I don't agree with Western medicine. Um... I think that, you know, insurance should be going to preventative medicine. To help keep us from getting sick instead of putting band-aids on shit. Band-aids on shit when we get sick. Alright, that's like a whole other video conversation for another day. I'll, I'll go into that another day. I just wanted to share about my water entering the Matrix and then reappearing. Because it was, it was, it was fun and pretty trippy. <laughs> and there goes my phone anyways. Alright. I love you and I hope you have an amazing weekend.